To Sir Robert Roth Ben Johnson How blessed art thou, canst love the country, Roth, whether by choice, or fate, or both. And, though so near the city, and the court, art tan with neither vice, nor sport, that at great times, art no ambitious guest of sheriff's dinner, or Meyer's feast. Nor comest to view the better cloth of state, the richer hangings, or crown plate. Nor throngest when masking is to have a fight of the short bravery of the night. To view the jewels, stuffs, the paints, the wit there wasted, some not paid for yet. But canst, at home, in thy secure rest, live, with unbought provision blessed. Free from proud porches, or their gilded roofs, mongst lewing herds, and solid hoofs, alongest the curled woods, and painted meads, through which a serpent river leads to some cool, courteous shade, which equals haze, and makes sleep softer than it is. Or, if thou list the night in watch to break, a bed canst hear the loud stag speak, in spring, oft roused for their master's sport, who, for it, makes thy house his court. Or with thy friends, the heart of all the year, dividest, upon the lesser deer. In autumn, at the partrick mac is the flight, and givest thy gladder guests the sight. And, in the winter, huntest the flying hare, more for thy exercise, than fair. While all, that follow, their glad ears apply to the full greatness of the cry, or hawking at the river, or the bush, or shooting at the greedy thrush, thou dost with some delight the day out where, although the coldest of the year. The wildest the several seasons thou hast seen of flower fields, of copses green, the mowed meadows, with the fleeced sheep, and fees, that either shearers keep. The ripened ears, yet humble in their height, and furrows laden with their weight. The apple harvest, that doth longer last. The hogs returned home fat from mast. The trees cut out in log. And those boughs made a fire now, that lend a shade. Thus Pan, and Sylvan, having had their rights, Comus puts in, for new delights and fills thy open hall with mirth, and cheer, as if in Saturn's reign it were. Apollo's harp, and Hermes' lyre resound, nor are the muses strangers found, the rout of rural folk come thronging in, their rudeness then is thought no sin, thy noblest palace affords them welcome grace. And the great heroes, of her race, sit mixed with loss of state, or reverence. Freedom doth with degree dispense. The jolly whistle walks thee often round, and in their cups, their cares are drowned, they think not, then, which side the cause shall lease, nor how to get the lawyer fees. Such, and no other was that age, of old, which boast ye have had the head of gold. And such since thou canst make thine own content, strive, wrath, to live long innocent. Let others watch in guilty arms, and stand the fury of a rash command, go enter breaches, meet the cannon's rage, that they may sleep with scars and age and shoe their feathers short, and colours torn, and brag that they were there for born. Let this man sweat, and wrangle at the bar, for every price and every jar, and change possessions, oftener with his breath, than either money, war, or death, let him, than hardest sires, more disinherit, and each where boasted as his merit, to blow up offends, widows, and their states, and think his power doth equal fates. Let that go heap a mass of wretched wealth, purchased by rapine, worse than stealth, and brooding over it sit, with broadest eyes, not doing good, scarce when he dies. Let thousands more go flatter vice, and win, by being or gains to great sin, get place and honor, and be glad to keep the secrets, that shall break their sleep, and, so they ride in purple, eat in plate, though poison, think it a great fate. But thou, my wrath, if I can truth apply, shalt neither that, nor this envy, thy peace is made. And, when man's state is well, tis better, if he there can dwell. God resheth, none should rack on a strange shelf, to him man's dearer, than to himself. And, howsoever we may think things sweet, he always gives what he knows meet. Which who can use is happy, such be thou. Thy mornings and thy evenings foul be thanks to him, an earnest prayer to find the body sound, with sounder mind, to do thy country service, thyself right, that neither want of thee of right, nor death. But when thy latest sand is spent, thou mayest think life, a thing but lent.